Hi everyone, welcome to the latest in our series of Creator Showcase videos. This time we're joined by one of our in-house developers, Adam, and also one of our art outsource partners, Mike, to talk about Creator Cooking. So guys, thank you for thank you for joining us today. Um, in, do you want to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about your history in games? Sure. I'm Adam. I'm a game developer and community manager at Unit 2 Games, um, and I've been working on Creator for probably nearly two years now. Um, essentially, I make sort of mini games and demos within Creator, um, and help out the community with any any problems they might have. My name is Mike Rutter. I am co-founder and director at the Digi Monsters, and as you mentioned, we're an art outsource partner with Unit Two on the creative development. Uh, we've been attached to the project from the early days, and we've worked on uh, a lot of the target visuals, on character development, props, hairstyles, and the more general UI design. Before working with Adam specifically on the cooking. UI. Great, so Adam, tell us a little bit about Creator Cooking and what it's about. Yeah, so Creator Cooking is a really frantic, fast-paced, um, cooperative cooking game for up to four players, uh, where essentially you have you have a lobby world with three different kitchens that you can go into, all in totally different themes. So there's a medieval castle, there's a sort of arcade city one, and there's a western pizza ranch, because I'm sure that's a real thing. Um, so essentially players can team up with each other to try and fulfill orders that come in really really quickly so you've got to chop fruit and vegetables and get things cooking and get all the orders sent off to make money and progress up through the kitchens so how did you go about approaching the design and the and the sort of gameplay mechanics for that so we essentially started off with something very basic um where actually i was working with russell the other game developer and community manager at the start of the production of this game and we, we essentially said, we need a game that's really different to what we've already got. Uh, we came up with this idea that we'd have this cooperative cooking game. And we basically just started producing the really simple elements of it. So a sort of ingredient spawner that could give you a piece of ham and then like a, a sort of counter where you take the ham and deliver it. And basically built it up from there where we were saying, OK, we've got all these pieces we've got all these elements let's start putting them together um, and then we decided we'd make three different kitchens each an increasing complexity to give players a sense of progression throughout the game um, and Mike when you got involved with um, with Greater Cooking you've done a lot of work on the UI and the kind of overall polish for the game can you tell us about how you approached that and the, the choices that you made yes yeah, certainly when I came onto the game Adam had already developed the game to such an extent that uh, the gameplay was all working and all of the events were triggering correctly, uh, and the UI had been had been blocked in by by Adam. So my task was really to visually improve the look and feel of the game, uh, to to improve the readability of the UI, and to make a UI that's in keeping with the aims of the game. And those are very much to have a fun, fast-paced, enjoyable experience. So I was really looking to design something that met those goals. Um, to begin with, I looked at similar games that exist. Um, it's a genre that's relatively new to me, so I had to do a little bit of re my own research first. So generally I'd play a few games, I'd look on sites like Pinterest just for inspiration. And then I did effectively a quick design. I use a tool called Adobe XD to to block out my UIs and to design my UIs. It's it's a good tool for layout for games, especially when you know that you're going to be using HTML and CSS because it's it's designed with that in mind. Um, and then it's a case of taking your designs, talking with them, talking with Adam about them, what works, what doesn't, what needs extra work, and then applying that to the game. So Mike, what are your general thoughts on Creator? You and DigiMonsters team have been involved um for a long time now in the, in, in the development. And um, what are you most excited about? It's very exciting to see it develop. Um, it's a very ambitious project, and it's it's the kind of game that I think is gonna have a huge market. And we're, we're interested to see where user-generated content can go, because during my career, I've been attached to some very big studios where we have very large development teams and it takes a very long time and a lot of money to make these games and so seeing what someone like Adam and Russ can produce in such a short amount of time 
is, is very exciting. I think for the, for the audience, you can have casual gamers who get to experience a lot of, a lot of titles, a lot of games very, very easily. And then as you would want to get more involved and involved more deeply, then that can take you into computer games development in a way that's much more accessible than, than it usually is. Fantastic. And what are you both most pleased with in the final game of uh, Creative Cooking? So before this interview, a few of us actually just played a couple of rounds of it. And actually, it's quite surprising to take a step back and just play it normally as a normal player would and see how polished it feels, which I think is partly down to just how good the UI looks now. It actually makes it feel like a real game, which throughout all of my time developing it, it just didn't with all the, the blocky grey UI and the black text on it. Um, but also it just hangs together really well in terms of we've we've really nailed the balancing, I think, on all the different timing. So it's just frantic enough to be fun, but not too frustrating. I think from my perspective, um, I'm quite excited about how quickly I was able to go from making a quick design to, to implementing it and seeing it look virtually identical. Uh, as to how it did in my designs in, in such a short space of time, we're talking a week's worth of work, two weeks worth of work, to, from start to finish. It, it wasn't a lot of time, and certainly traditionally in games, it can take much, much longer to achieve to achieve that. So from my perspective, that, that's what gave me a bit of a buzz about this, and I think it looks like a fun game that people get to enjoy playing together. Thanks very much, Adam and Mike, for introducing us to Crater Cooking. Um, you'll be able to play that as soon as Crater launches this summer, exclusively on Stadia. In the meantime, though, make sure you check out the rest of our Creator Showcase videos to learn about some of the other titles coming up. And remember to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all the Crater news and catch our regular live streams.